and all the hot <laughs> topics. We've already had a few arguments as <laughs> so we're filming. I guess not argument, but kind of a strong word. Yeah, but not thoughts. A, uh, uh, what's creative. good about us is we are we're we're so different and we think so different. So we can, we have to come together and that's really what is I think so unique about us is we're able to have our differences but still figure it out together. So and we do get a, subscribe, please. We, we, get a, we get a little <laughs> we get a little heated and when it gets heated my voice gets I'm like, why are you my voice gets loud. Yelling at me. It's well, not yelling. Stop yelling. The kids say I'm yelling, but I'm just loud. <laughs> no, you're, you're yelling. You're yelling. So, well, okay. But, but, our false, first topic. but, but also, false on Instagram <laughs> at uh, Real Life with the Cobans as well. You can follow us and uh, see some different things that are going on uh, throughout the week with our life and with our kids and different things that we have going on. Yeah, we can't wait to introduce everyone to you. But just to start off, you know, when we first had this idea for this book. We were, we were going through some adversity in our life and really wanting a breakthrough. And I know just from day one, I've prayed for a breakthrough. And that's really when God brought you into my life and in, through my path. And, you know, I'm always looking and excited for another breakthrough and another breakthrough. And I really feel like sometimes things happen to us. And we've got to go through it, and then we can start to have a foundation to go to a new level. Well, and I, th I think, and this is what I've found through, through my life and through sharing our lives, is that when something really negative happens in our life, as right now at this point in our life, we're really able to deal with that better than because we, we to be, because yes. we know something great is about to happen. Yeah, when we, we start have, having massive situations or problems, we or know a breakthrough that, is about to happen. I, we we, we just really believe it just happens over and yes. over and yes. over and over. And that's really what got us started writing this book and got us just excited about our next chapter and. As we were thinking about the best way really to um, get a little bit of the information out there that we want to share, we thought how great it would be for people to get to know us better, get to know our family better, see where we've, how we've been successful. Because to me, success is so much more than money, than uh, just having kids that excel in things. It's really having that peace in your life and having the full package of well, you're successful in all areas enjoying your life absolutely enjoying the people that you're doing life with and we actually had a conversation as we were starting this of what scared us a little bit about doing this is we too love our life we absolutely we love where we live we love everything about our friendships. We love uh, the atmosphere that we get to be in. Shay loves his privacy, which is crazy that he's agreed to this. But it's, Shay said, I, it scares me to think of any outside sources changing us because we do really feel like we have it all and we are able to, um, have greatness in our own life, but what we know is that we're being called to more and we want to help other people have this same thing that we have. And so that's really why we wrote the book. That's why we want to share with you and be so open with you. And you know, the first thing really to think about as we embark on this journey is developing that I won't quit attitude. And, well, and I think that that's when we experience the breakthrough is that we have the mindset that we're not going to quit on what we know is right and what we know um, the decisions that we make based on our core values and our character. And not emotions. And, and not emotions. Because yes, if you absolutely. go around making emotional decisions, 
I've found in my life that when I do that, I'm in a constant mess. And I, if I react emotionally or I act on my emotions instead of what I know my value system to be, that's where I find myself having unhealthy confrontation and just being unsuccessful. And I know we have grown kids. Our oldest are 21 and 19 and successful in their own. But now we have adult relationships with our children that look totally different than relationships that we have as we're raising our other children, which we've raised these kids too. But I think it's it's from doing a lot of stuff wrong that we have figured out what we don't want our life to look like and how we don't want to handle things that have led us to this place of peace, I think. And Shay has always had that you've helped me with this more than anything that I'm not going to quit. I mean, he's just stubborn. I mean, he's like, we'll make this work no matter what. But I was kind of a quitter, I think, when we first got together. Did you? I mean, it was like every time he did something I didn't like, I was like, I don't want to do this. I I don't need this. I, I, that's, that's our famous, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need this. And I was just like, it was a very negative, it was unhealthy for us because Shay didn't have any confidence that I wasn't going to just leave one day because I was unhealthy. And you helped me get to a place where I'm not running away. It was like I was just in a state of running from things. If I didn't like things, I just ran. And I do think we live in a society where people run. It's like... If they don't, if they don't like their husband or wife, they go try to find another one. If they don't like their job, well, they go get another one. They don't like their church. They're on to the next. Their pastor says something they don't like. They're on to the next. You know, and and just being real, we try to, and and I I hope that I am the leader in our house. Is we try to stay committed in each and everything that we do. Whatever, to whatever. be that example. To because, be the example. Of course, everyone tells their kids, you're not quitting. We don't quit. We're not quitters. You know, everyone says that. But it's really, and we do too, but it's really what do you lead it? You know, your family, your kids, the people around you learn from your example, not just your words. And that's really what Shay put back on me. He's like, babe, I'm not quitting on you. You can pitch a fit, you can act bad, but I'm sticking this out with you. And that really, what happened for me, I think that changed us, and I would really love to pass along, is you gave me the confidence that you loved me unconditionally. You've seen the good, the bad, the ugly in me. I mean, you've seen the worst of me. And I've seen the... And, and me. And I've seen the worst of you. And you were still, even in the worst that I could possibly be, saying, I love you. I want to figure this out. And even as unhealthy as I was and not wanting to figure it out, you always did. So that caused a change in me because not of so much what you were saying, but your action. And it's like you said yesterday, hope takes action. And you have hope in us in belief in our family that we're going to fight the good fight and we're going to keep believing and trusting no matter what's going on around us and we've got to stick together like glue and we're there for each other fighting for each other but fighting through things so i think when you get that mindset that i'm not quitting whatever it is and when you develop that in every single aspect of your life you're going to have great success well and i think when i when i went into our marriage i knew that i was going to be a committed husband um, because i mean i've been family members that had divorced i mean there's divorce in, in my family and i just did not i knew that i didn't want that and once i made a commitment to kimberly uh, for us to be married, I, I was 100% committed at... And he, had, you have been. You're way better than me. I mean, it, I mean, I just had that mindset. And I think that, 
I mean, and that's, that's just what, what I feel. That's what people have lost. I it's think like, that that's the way that people have to be. You have to be, no matter what, uh, committed because you're gone because you're going to lose the feeling that you get. And this is, I mean, this is for married married people. Um, if you're not married, you know, it's just it could be with any other parts of your life, but. You know, you're going to lose a feeling, whatever that is, especially with your Even spouse. Even with your job. Yeah. With, I mean, it's fun when you first have a baby, all those things, you know, then you're up all night. Yeah. You know, there's so many new friendships are fun and exciting. Then you get to know the people and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to be good friends with them. And, you know, I think it's, it's every area of your life, what you commit to, commitment is really following through. I don't know if I've said this. But following through with what you said you would do long after the feeling that you set it in has left you. I mean, that's what my mentor always said to me is, you know, when you're really committed, it's on the hard days you do it, on the days that you've got haters out there, on the days that things aren't going your way, on the days that you have confrontation. When you're committed, you're never thinking, I'm not doing this no matter what is going on around you. And so no matter what it is, and I think what I've noticed, especially even in the younger generations, is people are just ready to quit because they think there's something new and exciting around the corner. And guess what? It's wherever you go, there you are. And that is so true, is you can move around, you can go get new friends, you can, you know, get a new whatever, but new job, new church, new house, new man, but wherever you go, there you are. And it may be years down the road, but sometimes you find yourself in those exact same circumstances and situations. And well, I think, and the, and this is, and this is really something that because things always change. Our world is changing yes. so fast. I mean, your relationship, your marriage is going to change. Embrace that. You, you have to embrace, embrace that thing. And I think what allowed me to be able to change, because I was a totally different person than what than I became when I which was that married. kind of scared me because I when and I so would hear I about this to, different person he was, I was like, what What's going on? So I once, but I made a commitment, and when you make a commitment to something, you have to be able to make some changes or make some mental changes make what whatever it is to make that ch to make the changes when you are committed and i think that that's where a lot of people if they don't commit then they don't make the change that they have to make right. and then they're on to the next thing the one i know the guy i know has been committed and taught me the meaning of the word commitment and then in our family, they have seen that. They've seen us walk that out. They, they've seen us fuss and fight and get over it and move forward. And they've seen us love no matter what. And I just truly believe that because of that example we've been, they will continue fighting that good fight and knowing how to confront confrontation. And you do have to be able to confront things. And if you don't, it's, this life is going to be pretty hard. And I was one of those getting the bed, put the covers over my head. I felt like I was having a heart attack if anything negative happened. And Shay will tell you, like, he struggles with that with me because I would retreat to I can't deal when it was a massive, we've had massive situations in our life. So when it was something massive that just took my breath away and we will share more about our life farther into the videos that, I would retreat. I mean, there was one time I remember Walker coming in and saying, Mom, are you ever going to cook again? And I was just not dealing well. And I had to learn how not to let these outside sources affect my inner peace. And, it, and that took me going through things, I think, in the wrong way and having your support and your unconditional love and faith in us that caused me to be more committed and learn how to have peace in dealing with a lot of circumstances in life and 
not knowing. I mean, I well, just I don't just, know how to I deal with mean to, people, I think. And I appreciate you fluffing me up and everything that I'm so great, but I just want to be. And you at, are. at times, when this, when this would happen, this would cause confrontation between her and I because I was unable to deal with that. I'm like, what are you? He's like, like, suck it up. Like, what are you doing in the bed? Like, <laughs> right. you, you, you got kids. Like, you need to kind of deal. You deal with things head on. You don't run and hide. And so it was, it caused a lot of confrontation in our marriage. And so, but it helped us learn and grow. And I feel like all, you know, the, the, all the confrontation really created a breakthrough in, in, in our in our marriage and like Kimberly said I think really a breakthrough um, for her in dealing with yes. not getting sick with the with when situations. something bad happened because it would literally make me physically ill if something bad happened to us which and I want to say too, me personally she's helped me grow in communicate the way I'm feeling about something whereas prior I just really wouldn't talk about it I just keep it all in keep it all in we talk it out <laughs> she, she still has to pull it out of me sometimes but uh, on, on different things but I, I've grown to share more with her and it, it, in, in all honesty it, it does make me feel better and not hold on and be angry and then take it out on the people that I love. And so I think as you're watching and thinking about your own self and your own life, this isn't being committed doesn't happen overnight. And you it takes a lot of practice and how do you how do you do commitment? It's by not giving up every time it gets hard. It's not retreating every time something negative happens. It's not being afraid to take the next step if one of the steps you just took fell right out from under you. And we've had the rug pulled out from under us quite often through our journey and through our path. And we've had a lot of attacks. And so what I, what I know and believe is by me retreating and him pushing forward and keep going, he taught me what commitment looks like and what I should keep doing. And so it was that example, not so much. We fought through it too, because I was like, you need to just give me my space. Let me deal the way I deal. Well, I wasn't dealing well. And he's like, Kimberly, that's all fine and good, but you're not handling this well. And it's affecting every area of our life. And so you being that example for me, you are the, you are the finisher and you're the one I, you gave me the confidence. So I just think somebody in the marriage, in the business, in the job, in the family has to be the finisher and has to be the one going, I, I'm not quitting. Maybe it's, you're watching and it's you. And uh, it can be, it doesn't always have to be the husband. Somebody has to be a, I'm going to fight the good fight. I'm going to keep going. We've got this picture of Shay and I, when we were in Vegas one time and we're in front of this ring and we've got our dukes up and we're just being silly and took a funny picture. And, but, and it's one of his favorite pictures. I think it's on his phone. It's his screensaver. But what I know about that picture, that really represented so much more than we were at a place in our life where we were fighting it out. And we were, we were fighting for one another. We were fighting for this family. We were fighting for our marriage. And that was coming with conflict with, within ourselves and within our marriage. And I really celebrate that picture. I really celebrate that time of our life, even though it was a really hard time, probably the hardest time in our marriage. But I do celebrate it because it led us to where we are today. And we didn't quit and we did keep going. And we did keep fighting the good fight. Yeah, we just we just stay committed to each other. And, and that's what you have to do. And and as you're watching this, and there might be something in your life that you're you're about ready to quit, or you're not really committed. I mean, it could be one little decision that you tell yourself that you're committed, that you're you're not going to quit, and it could forever change your life. 
if you make that one little decision. And like Kimberly said, it might not be overnight, but it could be that one little decision could be the breakthrough that, that you're looking right, for, right. that you need. And so we just want, we just want people to be, because Kimberly and I, we are about relationships. We are about family and we just want people. And healthy families. You know, just because you're a part I, of a family doesn't mean it's a healthy family environment. No, no, absolutely, absolutely <laughs> not. And so, uh, <laughs> some if some people, people, if people would be, if you, watched, if you watched our family sometimes, you might not think <laughs> that we are very healthy because it can get loud and we got to break it, break it down a few notches just, and get a little intense, yeah. but we always, we're committed to each other. We love our family and we always work through it. We eventually bring it down. And so your first, our first thoughts really just you got to not quit and if you want to have success you've got to stop looking at this one at that one what this person has what that start just thinking about your own life and how it can be great and how you can make it great and how you can um, develop your own great family and that's really what we've always done we don't look to other people and think oh I wish we're like we're doing what we need to do to have the best possible life we can have and stop playing that comparison game and that's really something we're going to talk about next I think is not comparing yourself to other people because I think in commitment we can and in having mentors you can get caught up in oh I wish I wish my husband was like Shay or I wish my wife you're probably not gonna wish your wife was like me but you may wish your husband was like Shay but you might be thinking that and uh, I think if you get caught up in that that you can't have your best you've got to figure out what are you bringing that's your best to the table and what we've I've been taught for 18 years and just in my church is you have to be the change you want to see in somebody else so maybe you're watching this by yourself and you want a better relationship with your extended family or you want a better relationship with your kids or you want a better relationship with your spouse or maybe you want to have a good relationship with someone someday you've got to be the one that creates that and I know I had a real learning attitude of I wanted to be my best and I want I love this man with every ounce of my being from the top of his head to the tip of his toes and so I want to figure this out so me becoming better and learning from his I won't quit and me becoming an I won't quit person is what got us into the place that we are today and continue to be better and continue to grow and that's what we really want to pass along is wherever you are in your chaos because we all have our own chaos and we're definitely chaotic but wherever you are in that is you start to develop what you want to develop in your life but it's got to start but the, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to back down. I'm just bullheaded enough to get back on that horse and keep riding and keep going. And that's what Shay Copeland has really taught me and taught our family is, you know, I think it's the cowboy in him that he's just, he's not going to stop and we're worth it. And that's got to be what you develop in every single facet of your life that. I, I, I'm just going to have a little bit of cowboy down in me, but I'll just keep on keeping on. My head's going to get so big, I can't walk through the door. <laughs> Whatever. It already is. <laughs> oh, you're a mess. He is a mess, I'm telling you. He's loud, and he likes to yell. I have to tell him, do not yell at me. No yelling. <laughs> keep it down. Keep it toned down. <laughs> You make me laugh. Oh, you're funny. Mm. But anyways. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Don't and quit. Don't quit on us. But we appreciate you watching the video. Thank you for being with the Copelands. And please show us some mercy. <laughs> for sure. And don't judge us. Oh, there's a lot to judge. <laughs> But we hope that through our experiences oh. and our life, 
maybe we can help you enjoy enjoy your life and so again don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to tell people about us and we're just uh, i think next week we're going to talk about comparison and that's what i feel like she thinks, that so we're, gonna, to, she I, thinks I we're going to talk about comparison so uh, we'll see we'll see tune in so, thursday at eight yeah everyone have a great weekend we'll see y'all next thursday